Okay, I was worried that this was going to be difficult. It's not. Obviously, they lost a bolt here. This is what it should be. This is what it is. You can see it's, it's obviously not meant to be. This is paint. Somebody painted it. This isn't Blake. This is somebody else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some paint stripper and remove it.
nice and clean and these are now going to be reassembled oh, that's tight Let me wash this. I thought I'd be clever. This is a metric cutter, this is an imperial bolt, but I do have a stainless steel metric nut, so let's see. Oh look, it goes past up the uh, metric section. I'm going to put it here at the bottom where it won't be seen. Well, the good news is that uh, it works and there's no leaks, so now we have a functional like toilet, shall we? So you pump like so, and see the water comes in, lovely, yes. Now this is the bit that confuses me, it doesn't exactly stop when you pump. So I assume when you're done you turn that off and then it stops. The pumping, yeah, it's brilliant. I think what's important is that doesn't leak, that doesn't leak, that doesn't leak, this doesn't leak, this doesn't leak, that doesn't leak, that doesn't leak, and more importantly, that doesn't leak. Until it gets cold, and then it freezes and explodes. <laughs> Okay, we have a bit of a leak. These are the bronze uh, nuts and bolts, and we've had a disintegration. We have bits of nut and bits of washer, and they've they've literally snapped. So I think they've they've been a bit abused by the salt water of previous owners. So what I'm doing is. Cutting my losses, I'm not going to be able to get or afford to replace like for like, bronze with bronze, so I have got myself stainless steel and I shall use the same washers as 
as on in. So I've just got to replace all of the bronze ones with stainless steel and then um, this leak that has started to come because these are just breaking um, will end and the toilet is ready to go. The good news is that it's holding water, so that little tiny crack that I put in the ceramic uh, at the moment is not causing an issue. But I'm sure it will in the future. I'm sure I'll sit on it one day and it'll go bedoing and that'll be the end of it. Or maybe it won't. Maybe it'll be fine. So, with the baby Blake, I'll just have to keep a constant eBay search for another little baby Blake as a backup. There are two things that need to be replaced. The water pump here needs to be replaced, but it's just that bit, that bit there. And now I need to consider replacing the bowl as well. I'll just keep an eye on it um, and see how we get on. It's a lovely toilet, but it's an expensive toilet. And if you want to buy parts new, they're going to cost you an arm and a leg. Would I recommend a baby Blake? If you're mad, absolutely. Um, there are much cheaper. Japsco is a much cheaper brand and you can get one for two or three hundred pounds and it'll work fine. The other thing I have to consider is that uh, if I'm going away, I have to make sure that I drain it completely. Otherwise, if it freezes, it'll burst open. It is a toilet that you have to mind. Um, a Japsco toilet, for example, or a Seaflow, Seaflow, I think it is. Seaflow or Jabsco toilet will be made of plastic and those bits won't shatter. So it'll actually be a bit more robust when it comes to cold weather. But it is a lovely thing and I do like it. Oh my God, we are actually sailing. We're 